Taurus, welcome to your December 2020 prediction. So we're going to start with the general reading, then we're going to get into the love reading where we talk about what each sign is feeling for you. We start with Aries and we go through every sign until we reach Pisces. Alright, so for your tarot we have the Emperor, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So financially, abundance-wise, it looks like a really good month for you. We have the Emperor and the Eight of Wands. Some of you, if you, if you have been waiting on some form of communication when it comes to career, even a opportunity possible, uh, possibly, or in regards to trying to build something up, I'm seeing you're getting that communication this month. Otherwise, it just feels like things are really picking up pace. It is Sagittarius season. We've entered a fire season. Um, and Sagittarius is all about expansion. And for you, it's coming in your eighth house of transformation and other people's resources and other people's money. So this feels as if the universe is providing you the opportunity to manifest your wishes. We have manifest your every wish stars. You may be more in a you're living in the realm of possibility this month i'm really seeing um whatever foundations you've created you can grow upon them a lot right now i feel like there's a lot of stamina when it comes to creating there's a lot of energy and just passion overall your heart is really in it now for some of you there's so much heart so much passion this may be the energy may be redirected right you may be getting this passion from love but within that there is conflict as well or there's it's like you guys want to want things to move so badly that you may even be getting annoyed or impatient is what i'm getting um there is a source of frustration I see you're taking upon a lot of responsibility, a lot of leadership-like qualities this month. Stag spirit take the lead, right? Again, it's that emperor energy coming through. I think you're deciding this month, Taurus, I'm going to take control of my life. Um, again, that eighth house, it is a sign of, or a house of, it's your time to either take control or give your control. And what I'm seeing is you're taking back control you're taking back your power um we also have the energy is gaining momentum again speed right expect this month to to um pick up pace it's eclipse season so when eclipses happen you can't really deny the changes eclipses come when things are really stagnant and we know taurus how you like to get really comfortable eclipse will come and just shake things up it changes things and i think what it's providing for you here is the realization that i don't just want to be stuck i have been stuck way too long i've been in my comfort zone way too long and now there's this opportunity to to make things really move inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings you may have troubles feeling at home with yourself you may have troubles um being present and living in the moment but again spirit is it the new solutions the new beginnings are coming so it's like either you can adapt and move with move with the world um or get stuck in your own mild dramas and um people who are aggravating you this month you know i do feel like there's a choice it's gonna be a risk taurus rainbow bridge the thing is we keep we had abundance come up like a million times in your reading abundance and infinite abundance so again so those of you who have been laying the groundwork i'm seeing you're getting rewards this month you're feeling very supported and for everyone really generally the the, the energy is supporting you in terms of career and creating abundance you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose doors can really start to open during this time right and i think you are being asked to keep up with the energy to keep up with the speed that the season is offering because it's um the season is like a catalyst for change and this can be really good change these are new beginnings i know it being in your eighth house it's intense the moon right all this change all this you you know you feel pushed by the universe for some reason it can be 
frightening is what I'm hearing, but this is where you come up on top by taking, by making the choice to, to really devote yourself and not get left behind, right? I'm hearing it's like you've just, what do they call those baton races when you like pass the baton? Like you've been past the baton and now it's basically your turn to run this month. It's your, it's your turn to finish off the race is what I'm hearing good things cornucopia again both these cards speak about abundance is being provided to you this month you're coming across again i'm hearing doors opening the abundant universe will provide you have the word abundant come up three times taurus i have no idea what's going on with you guys but i feel the universe is really providing for you here and this is the month to start manifesting and taking action because i there's some there's a lot that is going to come out of it this is a huge month of opportunity for you to take again those of you who have been laying the groundwork you can expect finally things to speed up things are finally moving along but you will have to step out of your comfort zone comfort zone south node in taurus you will have to embrace that scorpionic transformation ego deaths metaphorical deaths let those transformations happen you've been very emotional and i see you being really emotional this month feeling really sensitive again that's okay that is the endings and new beginnings basically happening there's also been a lot of indecision a lot of nostalgia too much because south note talks about your comfort zone so it's time to move out of being so protective over yourself it's time to I'm hearing like you've worn this shield and it's like terrifying the idea of taking that shield off because you could possibly get hurt or you don't know what's going to happen next. It's time to remove those beliefs and really just move forward and ground yourself here. See those roots? Literally imagine with everything you're doing, those roots are getting deeper and deeper. You're only going to, it's only going to build a stronger and stronger foundation you're highly motivated and passionate to do that this month it's a it's like really really powerful reading um <laughs> time for a nap i think you're gonna feel overwhelmed i keep bringing up eclipse season but i always like to get into the astrology of things and it's been an intense month since like the um end of november to be honest so take a break from you know again people who you are hoping you can charm your way into being nice with you and supporting you even flirting for some of you and i think there's this flirty energy for you this month where you want to flirt your way into things where you're feeling a little bit confident a little bit charming and you're like let me see what i can do almost manipulate the situation don't manipulate it taurus let it be because it's going to end up annoying you it's going to end up pissing you off your advice is the king of wands be selfish this month temperance be balanced and heal focus more on your healing focus more on the empire you want to create on your vision and be happy the sun um this indicates being free and childlike and your environment is strength so you may view people as quite stubborn this month which is funny because i think usually that's how people view you but I think you're looking at people as there's some people where you're like, I know you want to talk to me. I know you want to reach out. Maybe you can even sense they're just holding back. And some people are. Some people do want to reach out, but they're holding back. But this is not about reaching out this month. This is about closure, receiving closure in relationships as well. Full moon and Libra, right? So letting go of how are you connecting with the world? And now there's an opportunity to change that. How have you been connecting with people? because how you've been connecting with people is probably how you've been connecting with yourself and this month gives you the chance for that to be an empowered way of connecting to yourself so much abundant energy i'm just sensing this month can really shift things for you as long as you step out of your comfort zone that's it a lot of you already are naturally going to feel inclined to do this and not have too much trouble achieving this so that is what i am basically seeing for your general reading um some placements sticking out are leo sagittarius fire sign in general aries yeah all the fire signs cancer pisces coming up strong taurus of course 
um, Cancer again. And what else do we have? Libra, okay? All right, guys, let's get into your love reading. Okay, we'll be working with some tarot and love oracles, so... <clears throat> excuse me. For those of you who are dealing with Aries placements, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands... Regardless of what's going... Actually, I want to pull the oracle first. Give me a sec. Um, what are you feeling for the Aries? Try me. Okay. So you guys are a lot more focused on your stability this month. You don't want anything to get in the way of your own peace. You're in this place where you're quite pissed off and fed up with this person, to be honest. You feel they need to change. Um, what is the Aries feeling for you? Me and my ego. Yeah. So there's a lot of ego getting in the way. They want to reach out to you. And they keep thinking about you in the situation and replaying it in their mind. But they're not actually taking the action. For those of you who are dealing with Taurus placements. Taurus. The star. The sun. Seven of cups. Eight of swords. Page of cups. What are you feeling for the Taurus? Soulmates. Okay, so this person makes you extremely happy. And there's a part of you that is still holding hope. I think you're fantasizing about this connection. You feel there's still a chance. But this situation is keeping you trapped. There's major feelings, but the Page of Cups is not very expressive. Regardless, you do see this person as your soulmate. What is the Taurus feeling for you? healing heart reckless guys i think i'll be honest there's a little bit of delusion going on here because with the grim reaper this talks about they're not willing to give it a second chance it says the relationship is over they're being very reckless they're like getting lit or being reckless with your heart they they may even have other options like this is very volatile this energy and then healing heart so they are healing from this or another connection depending if this is a you know if you guys have had a have had history but they're healing from something probably your connection if you guys had a deep bond they're 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 hurting from it and they're healing from the toxicity but they're just like there's a lot there's a huge immature energy going on here if you're dealing with cancer placements Cancer placements. Oh, sorry, it was Gemini technically. Okay, we're gonna do Cancer then Gemini. Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, Six of Swords. So maybe you thought there was an opportunity here, but this month you're realizing it's things are not what they seem. What are you feeling for the Cancer? That's a lot. What are you feeling for the Cancer? rocking it you guys may feel they're just doing fine without you like they seem okay without you what is the cancer feeling for you glam it up i think they're just doing their own thing honestly like they're just getting dressed um they may be like feeling themselves feeling more confident this month it's a plan <clears throat> So they kind of just want to make plans and live their life, I think. Um, I think there's betrayal in this connection and deceit and the energy is not really very stable at all. Okay, if you are dealing with Gemini placements, the High Priestess, the Page of Swords, Justice, people are keeping secrets, being private, stalking each other from afar. Maybe there's communication as well this month. What are you feeling for the Gemini? Love call. <laughs> Did I not just say communication? Okay. So they want, uh, you guys want to reach out to them. You really want to communicate with them. You may be reaching out to them this month. What is the Gemini feeling for you? They're guarded, so you guys need to be careful about reaching out, okay? Um, they still need time. They may feel they're competing for you with other people or you may be competing for them, okay? You may feel like it's a competition between you and others who may be interested in them. 
if you're dealing with Leo placement. The Knight of Wands, passion. <laughs> passion, but you need a break. Three of Pentacles. You guys will get back up this month, no matter what happens. What are you feeling for the Leo? You guys are feeling guarded with your heart. What is the Leo feeling for you? They feel it's a karmic relationship. They feel it's unhealthy and they have to let go and love themselves here. Okay. Virgo placements. Three of Cups. What are you feeling for the Virgo? Virgo. Kicking it. You guys may feel they're quite talented. Um, maybe they're fit. Maybe you just see them as being casual and having a... How do I put this? They're like just doing their own thing, you know? When I think of someone kicking a soccer ball, it's just kind of like they're playing around. Um, <laughs> if you're... Sorry, no. What is the Virgo feeling for you? Mall crawl. So you guys are right about their energy. They're kind of just doing their own thing. Um, you know, mall crawl represents basically buying stuff for yourself, which to me indicates they're focused on themselves. They're just kind of, it's a casual energy what I'm, is what I'm getting here. So I feel like this is just a month. There may be third parties involved, to be honest, but I feel this is just a month of you guys, both of your energy is casual here and kind of doing your own thing, celebrating the holidays. If you're dealing with Libra placements, Two of Cups, so definitely mutual feelings. What are you feeling for the Libra? Sunshine, they make you very, very happy. What is the Libra feeling for you? The Golden Mirror. They may feel left out in the cold. I want to clarify this. Someone is giving more than the other person. Mm. I think they have feelings guys but they may have like narcissistic tendencies here where they expect they they expect more from you than they actually give but then they play the victim um staying in so they're they there's something about them feeling protective over themselves or they want more time to themselves um what else are they feeling for you? What is the Libra feeling for you? Cassette, yeah. They, I think there's feelings here, but they feel as if things are going in circles between you two. There's an immature energy of your person. Again, I feel like they expect more from you, even though they're not willing to give and do the same. What's going on with the Scorpio? The Tower? So a bit of a falling apart moment this month. What are you feeling for the Scorpio? You feel they are your twin flame or you feel a very deep soulmate connection to them. What is the Scorpio feeling for you? They feel it's karmic. They feel it's not good for them. I think that's why things have been falling apart, guys letting go and loving you they, they still may hold resentment over this connection but i i'm hearing they are letting go right now sagittarius placements six of swords king of wands someone is walking away and choosing themselves what are you feeling for the sagittarius you guys feel a lot of passion for them think you want to move to calmer waters sorry i feel like i'm gonna sneeze you want to move to calmer waters with them ascending you want this connection to level up i think you're ready to level up your own life as well what is the sagittarius feeling for you they're kind of just manifesting i feel like they're really in their power they're just doing their own thing they're being very sagittarius independent just fun loving living in the moment um I think they want more of a friendship with you right now, not not anything more. And yeah, that's if they're willing to put in the work even for a friendship. 
Okay, if you are dealing with, what are we at, Capricorn placements? The Magician. So you guys may be trying to manifest this connection. What are you feeling for the Capricorn? The Butterfly, you've been working on healing your inner child. And so you, you're trying to manifest them. What is the Capricorn feeling for you? hammer oh this is so capricorn they're just focused on themselves and their career i feel i feel like they're just working on themselves yeah they have a very relaxed attitude about this connection connection i do feel they're more focused on them on them there's not a lot of emotional energy i'm getting from them if you're dealing with aquarius placements king of pentacles ace of swords ten of pentacles someone is realizing they need to focus on their money or someone's money is going to be improving or finances will be improving this month or stability what are you feeling for the aquarius hammer you may feel they're just focusing on their career i think you guys really want to put in the work though you want to make this happen what is aquarius feeling for you gratuity okay they are they're the ones who are someone is manifesting i don't know who it is but one of you is in like a manifestation mindset and just feeling in a really good mood this month because someone i don't know is really positive and going to be feeling very grateful in this connection towards you they're being quite cold frigid Okay, I feel like they're, they treat you a little bit, you know how Aquarians can be a little bit icy, that is the vibe, they're being icy towards you. Okay, and last but not least, Pisces. If you're dealing with Pisces placements, Three of Wands, Expansion, what are you feeling for the Pisces? Proposal. You guys want to take it to the next level. What is the Pisces feeling for you? They're healing from this connection, guys. They're still hurting. Or some connection in their life. <gasps> oh my god. I think they're healing from a different connection because we have an affair. They're hiding something. I feel like there is a strong third party involved, especially with the three of wands. Um yeah guys lightning this is about a surprise shocking news i feel like there's a third party involved that they're either dealing with or still healing from there's a lot of secrecy in this connection regardless okay all right everybody that was your reading thank you so much towards if you want to book a more in-depth eight dollar reading my information is down below i also have testimonials posted on my instagram otherwise that is all take care